What you see is the, like the dreaded gray background. I'm in a brand new document. I'm gonna paste. And look, all of it showed up. Are you tired of that stubborn gray background that shows up when you're copying from ChatGPT into another document? You want a fix that can keep your formatting without that gray haze. We tested 11 ways to do this before we found three that we feel confident will meet your needs. So stick around, we'll turn those gray nightmares into dreams. The first one's the simplest. It's for when you just need to move some text and you don't need any hassles. This method is quick and dirty, so it's for when time is of the essence, but it's not without its drawbacks. Let me show you the paste without formatting technique. Now, don't worry, you can find every step of these instructions in a step-by-step -step guide that we've got included below in the description. And that includes the instructions for copying into Google Docs and for Microsoft Word. Now let's get going. In order to show you the paste without formatting option, I'm gonna start by opening a chat in ChatGPT. Um, I'm just looking for something that's got interesting formatting. So here's something we were working on for one of our projects. And you can see it's got bold text, it's got some bullets, it's got bold that's within the paragraph. So this is a good test. I'm going to copy this and just hit Control C to copy. And opening up a new Google Doc, if I just hit Control V for paste, what you see is the, like the dreaded gray background. Everyone knows this. This is not what we want at all. Now, if instead I undo that and I say, all right, edit, paste without formatting. And the the keys for that are control shift V. Then you can see that what you get is a paste of the text you just carried over and no gray background. So you can see this is really fast. Control shift V or under the edit menu, paste without formatting. And um, in Microsoft Word, that's plain text pasting. And it's gonna get you this, the paragraph you just wanted. And you can see it doesn't have that awful gray background, but it also doesn't have the bullet point it doesn't have any of the bold face characters. So that might not be ideal, depending on how much formatting you have. What if the beauty of your document is in those bullets and bolds? Let's check out another option. If ChatGPT has already loaded in a whole bunch of formatting that would be valuable for you to keep and time consuming for you to replace, then we start to do something a little more complicated. I'll tell you almost all the time, this is my go-to method because I have ChatGPT summarize things all the time. So. Here's how I typically do it. Let me go into another chat. Okay, now I'm gonna get a little fancy on you here. I just preloaded in ChatGPT kind of a great sample text to test with. You can see that there's headings, subheadings, the bulleted items have a bold, a normal, and an italics line, and then so do the numbered list. And I've got a paragraph that's got a little bit of um, bold and italics inside it. Let me select it and come on, there we go. I'm gonna hit Control C to copy. And then I'm gonna head over to another blank document and I am just gonna hit Control V or as I said before, edit and paste. So this is just the normal paste and we get exactly what we were trying to avoid in this tutorial, which is the dreaded gray background. You might, by the way, might have a light gray background but both are really annoying. So this one's really easy to see. Now. What's cool about this is that it kept my like big heading, heading one and my heading two, and it's got some of the formatting still in here, not all of it. And I'm gonna show you what I tried because it's probably what you tried. So I'm going to first select all, and you can either do that manually or you can hit control A, in case you don't know that shortcut. And then the first thing I did was just say, okay, get rid of this highlighting color. So I tapped the highlighter and I said none, and I was like, Boom, nothing, crickets, not what I needed at all. Okay, the what actually worked is to now, I'm gonna select all again, control A, and then format, hidden away in a very squirrely place under the format menu. There's paragraphs and styles, and then, oops, borders and shading. And now you're starting to say like, oh, borders and shading, because shading is my problem. Background color, looks like it's white, but it doesn't matter. I say, I want none, and I hit apply, and boom. Now, some good things have happened here, like no gray background. Bad things have happened in that you can't really see the text. So again, selecting all to make it so you can read all the text. I turn, I hit the text color I, um, button up here at the top, and then I select black. Okay, ta-da. 
Now, a lot of good things happened here, and you can see it also lost my bold that's inside the paragraphs. It lost the bold that was inside the numbering. It did not lose the italics in either place. I mean, wouldn't you think that'd be exactly the same? Like, how could the coders have been like, oh, let's make it so it'll convert over italics and then like miss that for bold, but okay. I wasn't in the room, so I don't know what happened. Now, you can see that this would be helpful. And like I said, I use this method, even though it's a couple steps. If I'm cap copying a whole bunch of work over the ChatGPT created for me, and like I said, I use a lot of bulleted outlines in my work. I copy all that over, like just as a copy paste. And then I do this format, paragraphs and styles, borders and shading trick. And then I change my text color. And I'm pretty happy with that most of the time but that might not be enough. When precision is key, you need to maintain every bit of your document's flair. And so this is our ultimate fix. We're going to enter the realm of the markdown. So I'm gonna go back into my ChatGPT chat. Here we are. This is one with all the formatting that we're gonna test. And this time, instead of me highlighting it or doing select all or anything like that, I am not gonna copy it in that way. I am instead going to use this cute little clipboard up in the top of each response that it gives me. And I'm gonna copy that to a clipboard. That's what that means. And then if I copy it to the clipboard and then move it over, it's gonna be amazing. So I hit Control V or edit and paste. And well, this isn't what I hope for right? There's a bunch of hashtags and asterisks and stuff, and we don't see bold. And my headings are lost. You can tell it moved over something different and it did not give me the gray background. But the step I just showed you, copying to the clipboard, is useful because you can put it into a markdown converter. Heading back over here, just to show you again, clicking the clipboard, copying it to the clipboard, and now I head over to a markdown converter. Don't worry, we've got a link to this down below we actually tested a handful of them and some are better than others. This one did exactly what I needed it to do, so I kept it and it's free. And Markdown is what that formatting that I showed you with the asterisks and the hashtags is. So what I'm gonna do is I just copied a clipboard and then I'm gonna hit Control V to paste. And here's what's cool, I pasted it in here and this is exactly the text I put in. And look, it already gave me a preview and my preview looks great. So before I try to move this over, I'm gonna use this preview as a chance to try to catch anything like that that might've slipped up. And because this went bullet and continued bulleting, I think there's a problem that there wasn't a formatting break here between these two. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna head over into my, my original paste over here and I just added two more lines. So where there used to be one line right here of space between these two, I'm gonna add two. And as soon as I did that, check it out, it registered that this was a distinct list that the top three items were distinct from the bottom three items. And once it did that, now my formatting is actually perfect. So you can see it didn't miss anything. Heading one, heading two, it's got bold, it's got italics. Now, this is still not in a Word document. So let me show you how I get it over there. I'm gonna put my cursor over onto the preview side of the panel here. Uh, Control A, or just highlight the whole thing and copy. I'm in a brand new document, I'm gonna paste. <gasps> And look, all of it showed up and you can see everything. And with that, your formatting woes are history. We cracked the code for you on how to keep your copy and paste coming without that awful gray background and with bullets and bold and italics and all the cool things that ChatGPT is happy to do for you. If you want more tips and tricks for using AI, please subscribe. And if you're looking for another great efficiency hack on using ChatGPT right now, you should check out this video. I show you how you use the Vox Script plugin to get ChatGPT to watch long videos on YouTube for you. That's right. You don't need to watch an hour long video to learn something anymore. ChatGPT can watch it for you. Check out the video.